You're listening to KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle. Online, you can find us around the world at kexp.org. And today, we've got Frankie Cosmos live in studio. Welcome. Thanks for having us. It's so great to have you here tonight. You're just playing right next door in all ages show at Vera. That's super cool. Yeah, we're pumped. And you've got a new album out. Are you going to play songs from that today? Yes, we are. All right, what are you starting off with? We're going to play Fool. Take it away. Your name is a triangle Your heart is a square Cosmos live on KEXP, that song from the newest album, Next Thing. What's up next? We're going to play a song called Outside with the Cuties. Ready, band? Yeah. Outside with the cuties. I don't think the woods are too deep. The grass covers the sand. Oh.
live in the KEXP studios with Frankie Cosmos. That sounds so wonderful, and I'm so happy to have you here. Discovery is at the core of what KEXP does here, and we are looking for great music wherever we find it. And actually, I discovered your music through someone, a kid who'd been volunteering here at KEXP since he was in high school, and now he goes to college in New York. And he came home during a holiday and said, you have to check this out. And I loved it immediately, but there were hundreds of songs online when I first went looking for Frankie Cosmos. And I know now you have a couple records out. But I'm curious to know, when you started posting things on Bandcamp, obviously you must have been very young because there's so much there. Was that a way to share your music or just a way for you to journal for yourself? And um, Yeah, firstly, wow, it's, I like that story of how you heard it. That's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it was mostly just like a way to journal it, to keep track of it, and then send it to my couple of friends. I never really thought it would be a, a thing that was like accessible by other people, but obviously it is. So I, that's one of the weird things about the internet generation. Everything feels like a journal and isn't private. <laughs> one of our local artists that we love, Car Seat Headrest, sort of did the same thing. He has just a multitude of songs out there, and some of them he's reworking now on albums. He has probably about the same amount of recorded and released music as you do, and I'm curious, now that you're not just putting everything out there, do you approach it differently, or you're just still writing the same way, but you're just not putting everything up there? Yeah, I'm still writing the same way. I feel like right now I'm in a place where I feel like a song isn't finished until, like, I used to feel like a demo was a finished thing, and then now I feel like it's finished when I want to bring it to the band and arrange it and put it on a studio recording. So that's like a new feeling. I'm imagining in the early days putting that much music up, it was a solo endeavor and it sounds like you're working more as a band now making songs. Yeah, totally. That must be fun. It's great. I love it. <laughs> After years toiling away, I'm assuming in your bedroom. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> One of the hallmarks of Frankie Cosmo's songs is your absolutely gorgeous use of wordplay and you put so much emotion and story in such short songs and you obviously put a lot of work into that. Thank where, you. <laughs> um, I know I did read somewhere that you were in school for a while studying English or poetry so obviously the words and the stories are very important to you but I'm just interested you know how you approach that and sort of where it comes from. Obviously it started very young for you. Yeah, um, I mean, I've always really liked poetry. I definitely like view it as a different thing than music. Um, like for me, I think writing a poem is really different than writing a song. I know that's not the case for everyone, but yeah, I just I love reading, and that's definitely. I think now I care more about like making melodies and stuff, but at the time it started as like definitely the words used to always come first for me. And then the music was like a background thing. But now I definitely am uh, focusing more on writing it the seems, music. It seems like you put a lot of your personal life in your songs. Do you feel like you're following themes or are you just sort of in the moment? A um, little of both, yeah. There's definitely a lot of personal emotions and everything, but a lot of fiction too and just messing around. So. <laughs> You, you've been doing this for a long time, um, even though you're still quite young right now. And I know you've got a lot of experience behind you. It sounds like, you know, you've booked shows, you've promoted shows, you've t managed yourself on some tours. Hopefully you have help or are going to get help soon. <laughs> yeah. You have some really impressive merch. I'm curious Thanks. to know how, you know, the evolution into a band leader has felt for you, if it's something that you're comfortable with. You've talked a little bit in interviews about shyness, wondering if you just sort of suck it up and <laughs> deal yeah. with it or if you've gotten more confident. Um, yeah, I think I've gotten more confident the way that probably most like teenagers going into their 20s get more confident in life, but also on stage, just growing up on stage a bit. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess this is, I'm still, we're, I'm managing this tour technically, but we're all like kind of splitting the duties, which is nice and helpful. But yeah, I guess I think I'm technically the band leader and it's definitely <laughs> a lot of pressure, but it's, I... I, I can handle it. Is Luke handling the cooking duties? Yes. <laughs> Luke is handling the He made us a great dinner the other night. He's also doing a lot of my emails for me because I'm feeling really... How do you know about the 
Yeah, how do you know about Luke cooking? I've read a little bit online about oh, his... Oh, you go uh, to LukePines.com? Yeah. He's got, got done a bit with food there. I'm a little envious. I'm not the best cook, but I, I, I aspire to be. Actually, you've got um, some relatives of people we're very familiar with here and uh, impressive musicians in your band. You want to introduce them? Yeah, I'd love to. We got David Maine on the bass. Howdy. We got Luke Pines on the drums. And... Gabby Smith on the keyboard. And David, you're related to Aaron of Porches, who we play a lot here on KEXP. And Greta, you're sort of related to yeah, him, him as well. Yeah, sister in love. Well, since I'm married to David, we yeah. <laughs> keep, keep it all in the family. Yeah. Um, and we got Gabby of Eskimo on the, on the keyboard. And mm -hmm. Luke used to play drums in one of my favorite bands, Krill. And he also plays in a band called Amar. <laughs> A little super group here in Frankie yeah, Cosmos. Definitely. Eskimo's playing with you tonight at the Vera Project. We just played Eskimo in that last set. I heard that. And uh, we're excited to hear more music. Thank cool. you so much for coming today. What have we got next? Uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, next we are going to play a little medley of these two songs that came out last year, Korean Food and O Contest Winner. Ready when you are. Thank you. 
Frankie Cosmos live on KEXP. All right, we got one more. That's cool. Uh, it's called Sinister. Ready? Frankie Cosmos, the new album Next Thing out on Bayonet Records. Tonight they play an all-ages show at Vera right next door to KEXP and Eskimo also on that bill. You're doing double duty tonight, Gabby. <laughs> awesome. Thank you again so much for coming in. That was great. Thanks for having us. You've got to tune to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.